I do want to do some open source game streaming, at least some more on the main channel. Uh, I don't know what I'll play. Like, I've got a big list of stuff now. I don't know what the next one will be. Maybe it'll be like Urban Terror or something. That I, I played a lot in high school, in class. <laughs> Teachers didn't like that. Um, what else do we have on the list? On uh, my, my gaming list, actually. Uh, we'll go to... Is it video ideas? No, it's video notes. Stream ideas. There we go. Should reorder this bit. So we have Urban Terror, Armageddon, obviously Zenotic again. People seem to love Zenotic, so I'll be happy to come back to that one. Um... I did realize I had my window cropped slightly wrong, so <laughs> you couldn't actually see the entire game. We have Assault Cube, which I had a lot of fun in high school with again, once again, in class. If you haven't played Assault Cube, I'll bring it up on the screen. Basically, it's a... I guess it's very similar to Counter-Strike. Yeah, Counter-Strike's the best way to explain it. Um, here you go. Here's what it looks like. It even looks sort of counter strike Open image. Okay, it's a very tiny image. Um, yeah, basically, it's it's a open source FPS that is very much like Counter-Strike. And it's fun. I enjoy it. It's great. Uh, what else do we have? We have... So I said Armageddon. I did hear that Assault Cube... Or not Assault Cube, I guess Cube, which is what... This this game is based on the cube engine. There's like a second cube game. Uh Oh, that's what that one is. Okay. Okay, so someone told me about this. Um they just called it like what the the subtitle is. So Cube 2 Sour Bratton. I don't know how to say that. This is a a sequel game. Oh, I guess yeah, I guess I guess you called a sequel. Um, basically the same sort of game, but newer. Uh, I'll definitely have to have a look at that one. And it seems like it. Okay, no, it's not, it it came out a while ago. Oh, it came out a very long time ago. Um, but people are still playing it in twenty twenty apparently. At least the channel put open source games. I did not know the channel existed. Um, I'll have to go check this channel out because this might give me some good content. To actually uh, talk about... Wow, this is going to be a lot of content to do on streams. It's open Source Crash Bandicoot. <laughs> uh, Battle Metal. Open Source Mac, uh, Mech Action Game. Ooh, that sounds fun. Oh, I will definitely have to check this channel out. There is a lot of really cool stuff on here. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, I guess he's also a game developer as well. Does he still make content? Four days ago. I will have to hit this guy up and... Uh... Yeah, bring up... Come on to the, the pod... If you if you happen to be watching this... Uh... Hit me up. I'll bring you on the podcast. I don't know if you have any way I can... Oh, you give a Discord chat. Maybe I can contact you through that. I, I really don't like it. Like... Okay. Please have... If, if you're gonna make content on the internet... Can you please have, like, some sort of way to contact you? Like, maybe, uh... An email or something. If you don't check the email, like ever please have something it just makes it easier so if if you want to try like bring you on a podcast maybe you don't want to be on a podcast i don't know um yeah i'll, I'll if this guy will respond to anything i will definitely want to bring him on the podcast because oh it's a paintball game that's cool <laughs> there's a lot of really cool games that i'd never even never even heard about unfair hard open source classic rpg that looks kind of pretty. Huh. Oh, and Zero AD stuff. Oh, yeah, that's another game on the list. Zero AD, which I am very bad at RTS games. Um, So we'll see how that one goes. But we also have Open Arena, which is another uh, open, uh, an open source arena shooter. Very similar to something like Xenotics. So in the same sort of vein of being like a, you know, a Quake Unreal Tournament style shooter where it's real fast. You can rocket jump, things like that. Uh, is this wait? Is this a Japanese project? Has a has a um Japanese title? What's that? Open Arena. Yeah, okay, it is. That does open arena. Cool. Uh, yeah, it's it's basically another like arena shooter, and apparently it's Japanese. That's cool. 
or at least maybe one of the devs is Japanese. I don't know what it is. Either way, um, or maybe, maybe actually, no, it could also just be that the the dev is also a massive weeb. That could also be the case, because I don't know if you've seen my new Discord message. <laughs> my new Discord. So my old Discord um, message of the day was discount Luke Smith. Now it is. Um, I don't, remember, I don't remember how to read the kanji. Basically, it says discount Luke Smith, but it's in Japanese. <laughs> Just because I want to see if anyone can read it, and that would be funny. Um, anyway, yeah. This might also be fun. I don't know if it's still being updated. When was it last updated? Oh, no, it's not. Four years ago. We'll see if it still works, though. <laughs> uh, OpenMW, which... I don't know much about. We'll look at that one right now. Let's, I was just given a list by um, by Nephite, and I haven't actually looked into most of the games that are on the list. So OpenMW is a open source free software engine game recreation that re-implements the one powering Bethesda Softworks o 2002 open world role-playing game Morrowind. Oh, it's an open source engine for Morrowind. That's cool. Uh... Oh, no, I have seen this one. And I saw someone actually getting it working on a fucking mobile phone. Yeah, yeah, okay. I've never actually played Morrowind. I, I got into the Elder Scrolls series with Skyrim, like a lot of people did. Um, <clears throat> That's cool. I don't know whether this will make a great stream game on, like, the main channel, but maybe I'll do that on the, uh, the, the, the gaming channel. Uh, we also have Super Tux Cart, which... Anyone who knows about <laughs> anyone who knows about Linux gaming already knows about Super Tux Kart. Um, <clears throat> basically, it's a kart racer, but it, it's it's a Linux kart racer, and there's like there's I don't know who's any of these characters are supposed to be, except obviously you know we have a we have our boy Tux. Um, is the AI cheating? Probably. Uh, let's see. Is Super Tux Kart a Mario clone? No, the Mario Kart series is the most known kart racer games, but there have been many others. Some very old versions of STK try to mirror, um, mirror Mario Kart, but this hasn't been the case for a very long time. <laughs> I, have to, I do have to look into uh, Super Tux Kart, because it just... I like kart racers. Kart racers are fun, and... <laughs> it just looks fun. That's all I have to say. It just, it just looks fun. Uh, also, to stop Hum from bothering me, I'm going to go and play NetHack at some point, which is, I think it's like a, it's a text-based roguelike. Ha NetHack. NetHack is a very, very, very old game by the looks of it. Um, here you go. Here are pictures of NetHack, because their website's terrible. Um, yeah, it's, it's a text-based roguelike, so... And there's also graphical versions of it as well, which is cool. Playing NetHack. Wait, what is this? After 20... Uh, after 20... Like 20 uh, after 25 years of playing NetHack, I finally got my first Ascension. So there you go. It's at least 25 years old. But it's probably older, knowing Hum and what he recommends to me. Um, and I will make some exceptions for certain games. Like, for example... Maybe people want to play Quake. You know, maybe people will accept that, uh, that Quake would be a, a fine game to play on the channel. I don't know. Maybe that maybe I'm wrong. Maybe people will hate me for playing Quake. But I think that we can all agree that Quake is a good game. It doesn't matter which Quake it is. Maybe even we'll go back and play Quake 1. I'm sure we can get Quake 1 working just fine. Actually, there's probably people still managing, like, still, um maintaining the project so i'm sure that'll be just fine another one is a uh, mind test so mind test is actually an interesting one so is it gonna focus on this window there we go uh mind test is like an open source minecraft game and i i don't know anything about it um yeah i, I have no idea about this game i'll have to look into it though because i think those different there's like cylinders? What? What am I looking at? Is this like... Wait, is it... I'm pretty sure I've... 
I'm pretty sure that this, uh, the textures it's running is actually just a Minecraft texture pack. Um, cause I'm, I'm pretty sure I've seen this before. But I don't know anything about Mind Test. I don't know how old it is. I don't know how well it runs. I hear it's a good game. Surprisingly so. Um, Mind Test. Open source voxel game engine. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Yeah. Maybe it'd be, maybe it'd be fun. And it looks like the, <laughs> it looks like the cave generation is already better than what Minecraft does because Minecraft's cave generation is fucking bad. Um, yeah. Wait, you can mine 31,000 blocks down or thir what? <laughs> wait, 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 what? <laughs> what do you mean you can mine 31,000 blocks down? What the fuck? So the maps are stupid big, apparently. All right, then. Um, also, they have an, an IRC because, of course, they do. It's available on many forms of BSD, and it is still being actively updated by the looks of it. So that also sounds like lots of fun as well. Uh, what else do we have? We have Open TTD. Uh... I don't remember what that one is. Open TTD is. Uh, all right. Open Transport Tycoon. <laughs> open Transport Tycoon Deluxe. Basically, it's an open source version of Transport Tycoon Deluxe. I've never actually played one of these, like, tycoon games. Um, like, especially one of the older ones. Let's see if we click on this one. So it's, like, the same sort of vein as, like, the. Uh, SimCity games as well. I've never played anything like this. I I don't know. Maybe they'll be fun. I don't know. I'll try it out. Could be cool. Uh, we also have Open Red Alert. Open Red Alert. Red Alert is another game that I have not ever played. Uh, here we go. Basically, it's 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 Red Alert, uh, but it's open source. <laughs> also, they uh how. This one's still being updated? Yes, this is still being updated as well. This got updated 10 days ago as of the recording of this. Wow. Okay, cool. Or at least it's getting um blog posts about it. Uh we have Open Roller Coaster Tycoon. Which I think you can judge by the name, is going to be an open source version of Roller Coaster Tycoon. Another game that I have never played, but I'm sure would be lots of fun. Because, you know, building roller coasters and stuff. That sounds cool. Um, ugh. We have a couple more on... Ugh. We have a couple more on the list. And hiccups. Um, Battle or Wes... Wesnoth. Wesmoth. I don't remember what this one is. Uh, that's not coming up. Maybe I spelled it wrong. Oh, it's Wes, not Wes. I was, I was told the wrong spelling. Okay. This, I feel like I have seen something about this one before. This is a, is this another RTS? Uh, this is not, not an RTS, maybe, what do you call it? Um, the same sort of game that like Civilization is. I guess maybe you could call, yeah, how does it describe itself? Uh, the Battle for Westnoth is an open-source turn-based strategy game with a high fantasy theme. It features both single-player and online hot-seat multiplayer combat. Once again, I'm I'm not big brain enough to play these games well, but maybe it'll be good as well. Uh, and the last one we have on this list is, I believe, a single-player game, actually. Uh, it's a game called Strife. Uh, I believe it's a stealth game, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, Strife Game. Uh, do, do, do. Maybe, maybe, uh, once again, maybe it was a different one that I was thinking of. Uh. Ah, it's a Doom mod by the looks of it. Okay, maybe that's the one people were talking about. Um. Well, maybe it was something different. I think I, I searched for it on the stream. Uh, can I find it? Will I find it? That is the ultimate question. 
Maybe it wasn't called that. Maybe it was something else. Anyway, I'll check out that open source games channel. and Maybe I'll find some other game on there that would be kind of cool to look at.